Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? My name is Sarah Rest and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm gonna uh, be reacting to Bilbo Robots and Sex Thought. It's from his stand up on Netflix called Paper Tiger. And I've already seen it and I haven't watched it since the stand up came out. And I am a huge, huge fan of Bill Burr. I think he's one of the best comedians out there. He goes alongside, what do you call it, uh, Dave Chappelle, Norm MacDonald, and uh, Bill Burr. They're all in the same circle. They hang around in the same circles. And that's understandable because they are absolutely genius at their craft. So, without any delays, let's get to it. Here we go. I don't know. But anyways, you know what I'm afraid of? You know I'm afraid of? Robots. Yeah, I saw, one get, I saw one get interviewed on 60 Minutes, the top journalistic program in the United States. And he's just sitting there getting interviewed, not nervous at all, just rattling off all the fucking answers, you know? Not smoking, not fucking, you know, leaking oil, whatever you would do as, 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 as a nervous robot, right? And, and the reporter's asking him questions, and in the end he goes, so tell us, he's like, uh, he's like, what are your goals? And I am alone in a hotel room. And I literally lean towards the TV. I'm like, do these fucking things have goals? <laughs> and the, the, the fucking robot just answers. He just goes, uh, to be, uh, he goes, well, what are your goals? And the robot goes, uh, to become smarter than human beings. <laughs> yeah. And the reporter just blows by it. He's like, okay, and uh, what's your favorite color? <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm standing on my bed yelling at the TV like, dude, unplug that fucking thing. Take the batteries out. Pull the, pull the wires out. Do something. How many sci-fi movies do you have to see before you realize where this is going? Exactly. Terminator. So anyways, every smart lot. person, every super smart person in the world is That's saying true. these fucking things are going to kill us. Even your boy here, the guy who he recently died. What was his name? He was, uh, he was always sitting down. <laughs> Hawkins, Stephen Hawkins, yeah. He's always good to me, man. to fucking stand up and make his point. Just sitting down all fucking smarmy. much I poured ice on myself um, and I showed off my abs at the same time for the gram no, I'm just fucking with you I'm so glad that guy's fucking dead though yeah. <laughs> look at you guys you're hot how much longer do you want him to suffer you don't believe in an afterlife maybe he's up there now he's, he's fucking legs work he's getting an angelic blowjob how much longer do you want him to fucking sit there so you can feel better about yourself well at least I'm not all fucking twisted up yeah. Saying smart shit. Right? Maybe he got 70 virgins. <laughs> I couldn't fucking stand that guy. <laughs> he was so fucking negative. He never had anything positive to say. Hey, Steve, what do you got for us today? In 2035, there'll be no more apples. Thank you, Steve. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Wasn't thinking about that. Now I am. Hey, so what's the solution? It's too late. We needed to try 40 years ago. Thanks a lot, buddy. I'm going to go cry with my child now. Dude, I could hang with that, out with that guy for about three minutes before I took the break off his chair and just <laughs> sold him into the other room. <laughs> hey, Steve, come back here when you got something dumb and positive to say. Yeah. Well, listen, I agreed with all of these super smart people thinking that these fucking robots were going to kill us, right? I agreed with all of that shit until a couple of years ago, I was in New York and I was looking through a newspaper, right? And I have a whole new fucking theory. But in order for me to tell you my theory, I have to quickly take you back to the deep, dark, sordid history of the blow-up doll. All right? I know there's a lot of millennials here, young people. You probably don't even know what one of these is. All right? With your fucking... I don't know what you guys do. Your virtual reality glasses. You know, fucking free porn flying by you, grabbing titties. And whatever, whatever it is you do. All right? It is quite fun, though. Back in the day, this was the deal. If you were a person and, and you wanted to have sex with somebody else, but like nobody else wanted to have sex with you. And you know, you, you weren't strong enough to hold anybody down. I mean. You had to go, you had this how it was. You had to go out and you had to get a blow up doll. And you had to fucking go out and get it. You had to fucking go out and get it, right? You couldn't just order it off of an Amazon and some delivery guy shows up. He doesn't know what's in the box. You're standing there like Tom Hanks. Hey, how you doing? Great to see you. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck that. You have no idea what it is. Now, dude, you had to go down and you had to fucking get this thing. You had to find a porno store. You had to work it out that was just far enough away from your house that no one was gonna recognize your car. 
You drive down at like 11 in the morning. Who the fuck is gonna be there then, right? You park in the back on like a Tuesday, just sitting there in the car, psyching yourself up. Like, <sighs> okay, I'm not hurting anybody. It's just an urge. Just get in there, okay? Hand in the money. Just get in there, get it done. You yank your hat down, you fuck, you walk in with all your courage. And then you get in there and be too many other perverts in there and you get all psyched out. So what you do is you just grab a bunch of videotapes and you walked up to the counter and you had to make it look like it was an impulse buy, right? And you're walking up and everything, all the creepy shit was behind the counter, right? Just fucking heads and feet, just an ass body part, serial killer buffet. What fucking world am I entering? Oh my God, somebody's fucking a neck? Jesus Christ, right? And you set it down. Fucking a neck. Just make it look real subtle. Okay, buddy, is that gonna be all? Ah, uh, yeah, no, uh, maybe that, maybe that thing down the end with the surprise look on its face. Uh, maybe I'd like to take a shot at that, I don't know. The guy wraps it up and then you finally get it, you give him the money, you fucking run out to the car, you have this whole weird emotion. You're like excited and you hate yourself. Thank God I finally did it! What the fuck is wrong with me? Just drive off. Oh shit. My you bad. go back to your little shitty fucking apartment and you had to blow it up quietly. So none of your neighbors heard, just like <laughs> <laughs> Then you got excited, start going a little faster. <laughs> <laughs> and just watching this thing slowly come into life, just like <laughs> oh, I love that image. Oh. Watching Bebo do it is absolutely brilliant. Right? And then you wrap those rubber legs around you. Yeah! <laughs> and God forbid you got caught. Your roommate comes walking in, he's fucking a blow up doll! Dude, your life was over. You had like six minutes to get your mom on the phone, like, Mom, I love you, and you're never gonna see me again. Don't believe what people said about me, I'm so sorry. I'm going to Alaska, oh God, God, click. That was it. You moved to Alaska. That was no one ever saw you again. And that's why to this day, if you go to Alaska, there's like eight men for every two women. Yeah, because that state is littered with men who got caught fucking shit they shouldn't have been fucking. So now, fast forward to about 2016, I'm in New York City, right? And I'm looking through the newspaper or whatever, and I come across an article, and it's on this robot that for $10,000, you buy this thing, you can have sex with it, right? Now notice, five minutes ago, I brought up a blow-up doll. Didn't even have a joke, just said blow-up doll, and you all laughed. <laughs> a blow-up doll. Of course. Who would do such a stupid thing, right? That's weird. Five minutes later, I say a robot that you can have sex with dead silence in it. <laughs> As if collectively you were all just like, well, <laughs> what does it look like? Exactly. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. It, it still looks like a dead body, but it looks way fucking better than that pull-up doll from 30 years ago. And that's what scares me, because everything gets better, right? You look at when cars first came out, the stupid horn, ah, you had to crank start it, you'd run over your best friend. That's true. Now you can start one up with a remote control from like 50 yards away, right? Remember when airbags first came out? They just had one for the driver. My family! <laughs> so, that was Bill Burr and uh, robots and sex dolls. And uh, what do you call it? The thing is, when we were, I was at a uni, uh, I went to Swansea Uni in, in Wales, uh, and uh, the guy next door for me had a blow up door and one of my mates um, who used to live on the ground floor also had a blow, a blow up door as well and they used to take it out with them whenever they went out for a night out and it used to be one of the funniest thing ever and that blow up door got passed around quite a lot it was the funniest thing but no we didn't do anything fucked up we just did it as a joke but it was the funniest thing ever and I and also Something really pissed me off about that clip. Uh, it's not the full clip. I know it goes further into it. It was 10 minutes, supposed to be 10 minutes long, but it's only about six minutes long. And that just annoyed me a bit. A bit. So that's why at the end, when the adverts start, I paused it and rewinded it. And I was like, what the fuck? But still, it was still as funny as fuck. I've seen it, as I mentioned, I've watched it when the uh, stand up came out and I thought it was the funniest thing ever. And I stand by it. It was absolute brilliant. And the whole thing about the sex robots, blow up doors, it's so perfect. It is such a perfect thing to say. It's like back in the days, you used to have magazine. Now you got porn on the internet. 
the click click off a button and then you used to have to go to video store to get videos or what do you call it blow up door now you can order shit from amazon and nobody knows what's in the fucking packaging like like the guy standing at the door was like here's your packaging you just think yeah i'm gonna fuck that tank like it was so brilliant i absolutely loved the whole bit and uh i hope you did as well i hope you enjoyed it as much as i did if you did like subscribe share and leave a comment i'll see you guys next time